chapter. We are starting lesson one of topic three out of our module two. Lots of numbers, lots of titles. Have your highlighter ready to go. Have something to write with, maybe like an extra utensil. And then also open up a Desmos window because we're gonna be doing some work today using some calculations. You could of course use the calculator on your phone, but come on, Desmos is amazing. Okay, shout out. Not a sponsor. Highlights, the key terms that we're gonna be talking about in this lesson's videos. Hypotenuse leg congruence theorem, the leg leg congruence theorem, the leg angle congruence theorem, tangent segment, tangent segment theorem, and tangent circles, we're gonna be doing those. Our learning goals, prove the hypotenuse leg congruence theorem, highlight. Use SSS, SAS, ASA, and or AAS triangle congruence to justify the leg-leg congruence theorem and the leg-angle congruence theorem. We're going to analyze a proof of the tangent segment theorem, and we're going to apply right triangle congruence theorems to solve problems. Now, after you've highlighted that, maybe you pause the video here and you highlight. We're back into it. Uh, let's do the review together. Just a good, solid, quality review segment. Okay, here it is. Determine all the angle measures and side lengths of each right triangle, which will be a hint, by the way, we're gonna be getting into right triangle congruence pretty steadily, so we might as well start seeing a lot of questions that have to do with right triangles. Oh my gosh, we didn't teach you finance when you were in high school, but we definitely made sure you remembered the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, come on now, if you don't know the Pythagorean theorem, like where have you been? Pay attention. Let's do that one first. For number one, um, technically in the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared are the legs. And then c would be the hypotenuse. So anytime that we talk about hypotenuse and legs, we are talking about this line section or this line section. Those are the hypotenuses of their triangles. And then what is not across from the right angle, the sides that actually make the right angle, those are legs. It doesn't matter which one you call is A, mathematics is forgiving that way. Five is A because it's the first letter of the alphabet and five is smaller than 12. So we'll go five squared plus B, also orange. B is the other leg, so five plus 12 squared equals C squared. Um, Desmos time? I don't need Desmos right now. Let's do some mental math. 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So 5 times 5 is 25. And 12 times 12 is 12 squared. 12 times 12 is 144. Still equals C squared. Now if I can do some more math, one, let's see, 25 plus 144 is 169. And it equals C squared. So if you square root a square, they cancel. They're gone. It's just C that's left. And if you do something to the, to the right side of an equation, you have to also do it to the left side of an equation, which means square root 169. I'll let you do that calculation in Desmos, but you're waiting to fill in that blank with the answer to what's happening down there. Now, uh, also the angle. We don't know the measure of this angle until we calculate it. This box means 90 degrees, so you can pop in a 90 right there if you want to. The three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So 180, this angle is going to be 180 minus 90 minus 67.4. You know, I'm not going to tell you that one either. You figure that out. You do the math and you write it down and you prove to me what you know. Let's go to number two then, the setup for number two. Um, I'm, going to set, I'm going to set up the angle first. Now something I did write down over here, I'm not gonna write down the same thing because honestly, what's 180 minus 90? Duh, that means that this angle is 90 minus 48.7. These two angles in a right triangle are, where's my word? Oh, it's, it's way over here, it's way over here. They're complementary, which means they add up to 90 degrees. So for our right triangles, you just gotta do 90 minus the angle because you already have a 90 degree angle over here. And I'm, you use Desmos. I'm not gonna worry about it. Here it is, let's talk about the other missing leg. We don't know how big that angle measure is. And this will be a little more, you know, at least a little more challenging, so let's go to it. Um, 
Remember, 10 is the hypotenuse, and 10 goes where C is. So I'm going to write out by saying x squared plus 6.6 .6 squared equals 10 squared. That is using our pal, our best friend, Pythagorean theorem. So square, right, 100 is what 10 squared is. And I don't know what 6.6 .6 squared is. I mean, it's probably around 42. But let's see what Desmos tells us. 6.6 .6 circumflex 2. 43.56. Okay. Bring it back in. X squared plus. Now to solve to get X squared by itself, to solve to get X squared by itself, we just need to subtract 43.56 from both sides. That'll make the 43.56 be gone from the left side of the equation. Therefore, x squared equals, what do you get from this mathematics? So 100 minus 43.56. Ah, 56.44. So the last thing that you need to do, right, is square root both sides, because technically, it's x squared. So x squared, we're going to square root both sides. And then you go to Desmos, and you let Desmos do the handling of the square roots. You can type s, q, r, t, and it'll make a square root symbol. And then you type 56 point, uh, I'll let you do that part, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. See you, see you on page 386. Bye. Like, comment.